Hello and welcome back uh, to uh, the demo videos. Um, for homework, you're going to have to do problem 15-1a, problem 15-3a, problem 15-4a. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over problem 15-1b, okay? Um, primarily, it should be pretty identical for the most part. Um, I tried to include a lot of demo videos of how to calculate things. Um, I hope you found them beneficial. Um, <clears throat> so this one I'm going to go through problem 15-1B. Uh, and uh, the B problems are, I just double checked, and I actually downloaded them from Blackboard. They are there. Um, please print those out or have those open and, and available to you um, as we go through this. So the problem says that on January 1, 2015, uh, Weller Corp issued $3 million, 9% five-year bond at face value. Uh, the bonds are dated June 1st, 2015 and pay interest annually on June 1st. Financial statements are prepared annually on December 31st. So what we need to do is we need to prepare, uh, prepare journal entries uh, to record the issuance of the bond, the interest accruals, and the bond redemptions. Okay, so the first problem or the first instruction A, A wants us to record the issuance of the bond. That is super, super easy, right? So this is on uh, June 1 of 15. And what we need to do is first determine what are we giving, what are we getting, right? Well, we're getting cash. Sweet. How much cash are we getting? Well, we issued the bond at uh, face amount. And that face amount is 300,000, or I'm sorry, $3 million. So I'm going to debit um, cash for $3 million. And I'm going to credit bonds payable. For the same amount, $3 million. Okay, that's A. They want us to prepare the adjusting entry to record the accrual of interest on December 31st, 2015. Okay, no problem. So I'm gonna skip a space, B. This is on 1231. Actually, let's do it this way. December 31, 2015. Okay, we need to calculate the amount of interest that we're gonna record, okay? So what is the interest expense? Well, to calculate the interest expense, and I'm going to come down here and do it uh, real quick, right? So we know it's the face amount of the bond, $3 million, times the stated rate, which in, in this case is 9%, times the time. Right? So let's think about that. On June, so June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That's seven months, right? We need to accrue interest for seven months. That's easy. Seven over 12. Okay? And if my math's right, that amount should be 157500 bucks. Okay? I got to journal this. Super easy. Interest expense for the $157,500. And I'm going to credit interest payable, right? Why interest payable? Well, because I'm not paying the interest, right? I pay it annually every June. I'm at the end of the year 2015. I need to record or accrue seven months worth of interest. Okay, so interest payable is going to be the same amount. Okay, 
Okay. So let's go back and look at look at C. C says show the balance sheet presentation on December thirty first, two thousand fifteen. Okay. Well, that's that's really easy for for us to do, right? What we need to do is we need to show okay, how much are we going to pay? Or I'm sorry, not how much we're we going to pay. Um, we need to show the balance the balance sheet presentation, right? So that's really easy for us to do. How do we do that? Well, we need to figure out what are our current liabilities. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to say current liabilities, or actually I'm going to say C, because this is number C. I'm going to say our current liabilities. We have interest payable. And our long-term liabilities are going to be the, obviously, bonds payable. Right? Now, how much interest do I owe? Well, that's easy. I just did the journal entry, right? The journal entry is $157,500. That's the interest payable. What's the bond payable? Well, that's easy. That's $300,000, or I'm sorry, $3 million. Okay? And this is what it should look like. Notice I didn't use debit or credit. Why? Because I'm looking at the um, liability section of the balance sheet, right? We don't have debits and credits here. We just report them, okay? Now, if we look at D, D says report, uh, prepare the journal entry to record payment of interest on June 1st, 2016, okay? So, excuse me, that's pretty easy for us to do, right? So let's think about that. So for part D, we need to record the interest that we're paying. And this is on June 1, 2016, okay? So first of all, we need to get rid of the interest payable, right, that we already have. We're paying this, so we need to debit interest payable for the balance. Well, what's the balance? $157,500, okay? Now we need to accrue more interest, right, because think about it. From June 1 to December 31 is five months, right? Or I'm sorry, seven months. We already accrued that interest. We're now paying it. So from January, February, March, April, and the end of May, because June 1, we have to you know make that payment. So that's five months of interest that we need to recognize, right? So interest... It's just it, bleh, interest expense is going to be calculated as $3 million times 9% times the time. Well, January, February, March, April, May, and then June, right? Well, we're not going to pay June because um, June starts a new interest payment. So we're going to have to record uh, 5 twelfths worth of interest. And if my math is correct, that should be 120, or I'm sorry, $112,500. Well, we're paying this, so I gotta get my cash. So I'm gonna credit cash for the total amount of $270,000, okay? Now let's look at E. E says, prepare the adjusting entry to record the accrual of interest on December 31st, 2016. So easy for us to do, right? So we're going to do D. 
and we're not going to use what we calculated before, right? Because we need to count what we're doing, okay? Or actually, we are. Um, so on June, or I'm sorry, December 31st, and this will be 2016, how many months of interest are we going to calculate? Well, June. June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Seven months worth of interest. Okay? So, super easy for me to do. I debit interest expense for $157,500. And I credit interest payable for the same amount. Again, how did I get that? $3 million, the face amount, times the stated rate, 9%, oh, sorry, times 9% times time. Well, I just calculated it. Um, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, it's seven months, so seven twelfths ends up being the $157,500, okay? Now, I'm sorry, that was actually E. I apologize. Okay. Now let's look at F. Okay, F says, assume that on January 1st, 2017, right? So that's what? Two years later, Weller pays the accrued interest and calls the bonds. Well, what do they call them at? They called them at 102% of the value. Okay. Record the payment of interest and the redemption of the bonds. Super easy, right? So let's think about this. It was on January or, um, yeah, January 1st, right? Okay, so what are we doing? We are extinguishing the bonds, right? Not a problem. So I got a debit bonds payable for how much? Well, the face amount, right? I got to get it off the books for what it's on the books at. It's on the books for um, $3 million. So I got to get it off the books for $3 million. Okay, there's going to be a gain or loss here, right? There's actually going to be a loss. How do I know that? I'm paying $3 million, or $3 million is on the books, right? What am I crediting cash? Well, that's easy, right? How much am I paying? Well, I'm paying the face amount times 102% of that bond, or 102% of the bond, or times 1.2. I get $3,060,000. So I actually have a loss on bond redemption. For how much? $60,000. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and that, that's problem 15-1B um, um, in a nutshell. Okay. When we come back in our next video, we're going to look at problem 15-3A or 3B, right? That's what we have to do. Um, that's what we're going to do that matches your homework problem, uh, which is problem 15-3A. Okay, so please tune back in for, for that one.